Hello AWS friends and welcome to this theory lesson on code deploy which deploys your code to Amazon EC2 instances, on-premise instances, serverless Lambda function or Amazon ECS services. The benefits of code deploy are server, serverless and container applications. Deploy both traditional applications on servers and applications that deploy a serverless AWS Lambda function version or even the Amazon ECS application. Automated deployments fully automates your application deployments across your development, test and production environments. It scales with your infrastructure so you can deploy to one instance or thousands. Centralized control launch and track the status of your deployments through the code deploy console or the AWS command line. You'll receive a report that lists when each application revision was deployed and to which Amazon EC2 instances. The most important objects of code deploy and also code pipeline are application, the application you want to deploy, the app spec file, an application specification file which is unique to code deploy. It is a YAML or JSON formatted file. The compute platform, the platform on which code deploy deploys your application, EC2, on-premise, Lambda or ECS. Deployment configuration, a set of deployment rules and deployment success and failure conditions used by code deploy during a deployment. Deployment group, a code deploy deployment group identifies a collection of one or more app spec files. Deployment type, the method used to make the latest application revision available on instances in a deployment group, in place or blue-green. The pipeline, a workflow construct that defines the way software changes go through a release process. Stage, a group of one or more actions. A pipeline can have two or more stages. Possible application compute platforms are EC2 or on-premise, AWS Lambda and Amazon ECS. Some work on the application specification file. A application specification file, app spec file also is unique to code deploy. It is YAML or JSON formatted. It is used to manage each deployment as a series of lifecycle event hooks, which are defined in this file. Here an example app spec file. We're going to use this file in the Lambda deployment lesson and learn more about it. For now you can see we have a resource, the Lambda function and two hooks before and after allow traffic. The deployment group allows you further configurations and settings for your deployment dependent on your chosen application compute platform. For example, the service role, deployment configuration, deployment type, this is in place or blue green, environment configuration, ECS cluster and service. Deployment types, the method used to make the latest application revision available on instances in a deployment group. In place, the application on each instance in the deployment group is stopped, the latest application revision is installed and the new version of the application is started and validated. And blue-green, which we cover more detail in the next slide. Blue-green on EC2 and on-premise instances. The instances in a deployment group are replaced by a different set of instances. Blue-green on AWS Lambda. Traffic is shifted from your current serverless environment to one with your updated Lambda function versions. Blue-green on Amazon ECS. Traffic is shifted from the task set with the original version of the containerized application in an Amazon ECS service to a replacement task set in the same service. Finally, an overview of the available deployment configurations. You find a link to this configuration in the resource sections of this lesson. Wow, this was quite a lot of theory. Now let's create our first deployment. Thanks for listening and see you on the next lesson.